Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on our RV water heater. We're going to be replacing this anode with a, with a new one. This is our old one. It's completely gone, which is really, really bad actually. Um, this should look something like this and it should be like calcified. And we don't even have one. So that tells me the previous owner actually never even changed this out, which is very unfortunate. So something we have to do first is we have this little hose attachment and we're gonna stick that in there and spray that out. We're gonna try to get any kind of gunk out of there, which I already scraped some out. So we're gonna like power blast that and try to get all that, that calcium and, and rust out of there. Welcome to Redbeard Outdoors. My wife and I travel all over the country with our Dodge Ram 3500 Laramie Longhorn Mega Cab and our 40 foot featherlight horse trailer with living quarters. We travel with our various number of Irish setters and our three horses Biscuit, Melody, and Tara. Okay guys, when messing with your water heater, there's a series of shutoff valves that you can bypass the water heater. That way when you uh, need to take the anode out and drain it down, you won't have a continuous flow of water. So each trailer is going to be a little bit different, but you want to make sure you have those valves shut. So I'm not really going to go through that, but I wanted to make you aware of it. What you're gonna need is a one and one sixteenth inch socket to uh, get this anode out and to put it back in. So you're gonna need that handy. Like I said, we already took this off, so it's ready to go. Here's our spray nozzle. I will give you guys an Amazon link description uh, down in the description below for this. Uh, it wasn't too much. And then um, we bought these anodes off of Amazon too. They weren't that much either. Came in a two pack. And it also came with plumber's tape. I'm gonna put the plumber's tape around these threads right here uh, when we put it in. I don't think this is the best plumber's tape in the world, but um, it really can't be that bad, right? So I'll just go ahead and use it. Okay, I wrapped it around two times, plumber's tape, and now we're gonna put it in. Being that the previous owner never replaced the anode, our threads to our water heater are pretty uh, rusty. Um, it has me a little worried that the inside of the water heater is rusted out pretty well. Um, when I blasted all this out, we got a lot of metal flakes and chunks out of the water heater, like so. which is normal because that should come off your anode, but I'm hoping that's not the inside of the water heater. I got the threads started on this anode and uh, hopefully I don't strip anything out. So we'll see how this goes.
Okay, about a little over halfway of screwing it in, it starts to get pretty tight, which, um, you know, it's, it's kind of supposed to, but a little bit of the rust has me kind of worried, but I'm gonna just go through with it and I'm gonna tighten it up in there. So let's see how this goes. We're gonna open up the water heater and see if there's any kind of leaks or anything like that. We had the bypass valves shut so that no water would, would come through the, the system. Okay guys, we primed the water heater. Uh, it took a little bit to do that because it's a eight gallon water heater. Next, we uh, Turned on the water heater, it's heating up the water inside of it right now. And so far so good, no leaks. It had me a little worried because I wasn't able to thread that on all the way. I'm not 100% sure if you can thread it on all the way, but it hit the front end of that plumber's tank and uh, that's what we went with. So, as you can see, the water heater's firing up right there. Before you get started you want to make sure your water heater is off um, it's not hot you don't get any hot water on you when you take the anode out um, so make sure you don't run your water heater for a while when that that's going on and uh, then you're good to go you got your anode swapped out and everything's good to go side note guys you can fill your fresh water tank with this uh, water heater sprayer and it doesn't overfill right here, so it's kind of a quick way to fill your water tank. So, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this useful, please hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe for more trailer upgrades, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember, get outdoors.